All right. Good afternoon, everybody. This is Patrick Barker from BSCADA. I am the business development manager here. And today I'm going to show you how to connect your Labellium devices to the BSCADA platform. So it's a pretty simple process, um, but there are a couple things that you have to do. So I'd like to walk you through those. And again, also remind you that this is a service that BSCADA can also provide as well. Um, that way you are given a true end-to-end -end solution. So keep that in mind as well. Okay, so the first thing you need to do, obviously, is purchase the sensors from Labellium. And you'll get some sensor nodes and a Meshalum gateway. Now, when you receive the package, you're going to put together the Meshalum gateway, and you're going to plug that into your network. Your domain controller should then assign a IP address to that Meshlum gateway, very much like a router or switch when you install that into your network. Then you can use your web browser and type in the IP address of the Meshlum gateway slash manager system slash login. And this is going to present you with this screen here where you're going to log into your Meshlum gateway. Now, the password that we were given by Labellium for default was user root and password is Labellium. So I'm going to go ahead and enter those now and hit login. This is going to bring up my interface for configuring the Meshlam gateway. Okay, so it's important to note um, that this is using this communication protocol here. And the reason why you want to note what your Meshlum gateway is using is that way when you go and scale your operation up, you need to purchase more nodes or sensors. You'll ensure that you purchase a sensor that also uses that communication protocol. That way when you bring the sensor in range and turn it on, it will automatically connect to the Meshlum gateway. Okay, one requirement for Labellium is we communicate to the sensor devices using MQTT. So you need to attain, obtain a MQTT broker. We, we uh, tend to use M, MQTT Mosquito, which offers uh, free public MQTT brokers that you can use. Again, this is something that BSCADA can provide for the, the customer as more of a hosted solution, or if the customer wants to manage it themselves, they can do so that way. But what you're gonna do is click on the tab that says Cloud Connector and M2M Platform. And now you're gonna hit BSCADA. And this is where you're gonna configure the information for your MQTT broker. So here's our URL that we're using, the port, client ID, and security key. So again, if BeatScada were to host this for the customer, customer name would be here. This would be our MQTT broker that we use. And we would obviously give the customer a secret key. With all of those um, configurations set, you're going to save that and then the next thing you're going to do is just start the application you can see that it is now started and the current status is running so right now we're essentially um, done with configuring the Meshlam gateway one thing you can do um, you know once this is all configured uh, is to ensure that your sensors are connected to the uh, Meshlam gateway one way to do that is select your sensor network and then just go to Capture. And this is going to show you any device that is currently connected uh, to the Meshlam gateway. So you can see I got some de de um, devices here and values and, and identi identification numbers. So again, that's just a quick way to ensure that your devices are actually connecting to the Meshlam device. All right, so let me pop back over here into Cloud Connector because we're going to need this URL in a couple more places. Okay, the next thing that you are going to want to do is you need to know the device 
ID of the sensor nodes that your gateway is communicating to. And the reason you need to know that is when you go into our software to configure the data connector, that device ID needs to be known. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So the next step is let me just, I'm going to minimize this. I'm going to go ahead and click on my application launcher because the next thing I want to do is build my model for my sensors. Now, again, this is a service that BSCADA could offer, um, but the customer could also do as well. So I have created a Labellium dev type with three properties that I uh, want to monitor. I currently want to get the battery information, internal temperature, and the MAC address. The next step is to click on assets, and I have a folder here called Labellium uh, development. I'm going to go ahead and say create an asset and I want to create one Labellium device. So I'm going to do that now. So that creates the device with all of the properties. The next thing is to map the model to where the data is coming from. So I'm going to click on the data mapping tab, hit connect, create a new mapping configuration called Labellium. You can call this what you like. Under data provider, I'm going to select Labellium sensor data provider. And this is where you'll need to know the MQTT server address again. So I'm going to go ahead and just copy this from the Meshalum uh, web interface. And go ahead and hit update. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add a device. And display name, you can call this what you like. Um, I'm currently connected to a WASP mode, so I'm going to go ahead and just name it that. And then here's where you need to know the device ID as well as your um, secret key. So in order to do this, you need to look on the MQTT broker and find the device ID. And what we do for that is we use a program called MQTT Lens. It's a free Chrome extension. Go ahead and create a, a new connection. So I'm just going to call this Labellium. And the host name that you need to place here is the, um, the URL of the um, MQTT broker. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And of course, the port is um, 1883. I'm going to select generate random ID so it gives me a random key. And I'm going to go ahead and create a connection. Now, when a connection is established, you'll see it green here. The next thing I'm going to do is give it a topic for me to look at. And what you'll need to do here is type in MQTT, all capital letters, capital S, server and then the port 1883 backslash uh, number sign and go ahead and hit subscribe what this is going to do now is subscribe to the broker and it's going to show me all traffic for that um, mqtt server listening on this port so the information that we want to retrieve from here is this device ID here. So it starts with a six and ends with an eight. So I'm gonna move this over to my other screen and under device ID, I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. So for me, it's 6002B4AAFAD8. And of course my secret key which was defined here. I'm going to go ahead and type that here. And in our case, it's just BSCADA. And I'm going to go ahead and add a sensor. So this is where you're going to add the sensors that you'd like to monitor. So things that we want to monitor are all found under the additional um, column here. So I'm going to get battery. I'm going to get the MAC address 
and I'm going to get the internal temperature. With those added, I'm going to go ahead and hit update, and it's a good idea to hit save. Next thing I'm going to do is hit connect, and then configure mappings. Now I'm going to go to the device that I've created called Labellium Dev 1. Click on battery, battery on the wasp moat and right click and say add mapping and I'm just going to go ahead and do that for all the other ones here. Right click add mapping and the MAC address pretty simple to do add mapping. I'm going to close this window and again save my configuration. So now what's happening is the devices are communicating to the Meshlam gateway. The Meshlam gateway is sending that information to an MQTT broker and we, BSCADA, we are reading that data from the broker. So we're pretty much done with this application. So I'm going to close this out. And the next thing I'm going to run just to ensure that we're getting data is the data model browser. And this is a really nice application to use for connecting to data or, or just verifying that your connections are all working properly. So this is a list of my model. Here's the asset I'm interested in. Click on property table and just double click. And you can see I've gotten all my data. You actually just saw that turn green. It just got an updated value. So I am in fact getting data. It's at the correct time, 204, 204. Let's go ahead and close this application. And now let's say we wanted to build a custom uh, user interface so that I can show the users you know the data in a way that they would like the data to be presented. So I'm going to launch the application called Mimic Designer and then go ahead and click File New and I'm just going to create a new Mimic. I'm going to call this Labellium Test and hit OK. It's going to bring up my design surface and I'm just going to go and grab a gauge, draw that out and go to my labels and just drag a couple labels out real quick. There we go. There we go. And now I'm going to bind this information. So I'm going to select the gauge, go into my data binding panel, look at all my assets. There's my labellium folder. Here's my device. So I want this control to look at the internal temperature. So I'm going to hit apply. I want this label to look at the MAC address, and I want this label to look at the battery. And there you go. I've got a screen now using our controls that's now getting data. Next thing I'm going to do is hit save, and this is just telling me, you know, it's asking me where what I would like to save the, the folder or the file. So I'm going to go ahead and just save that there, hit OK. And let's do a test run application. This is going to launch the Windows client and allows me to see my information. Now, the really cool thing about the vSCADA platform is that this system also deploys to HTML5. So let me go ahead and close this. And again, I just want to stress that this is something that could be done by vSCADA if the customer wants an end-to-end -end solution. But if the customer is doing it themselves. All they'll need is an IIS server to launch the website and install the gateway. So I'm going to go ahead and hit connect. This is going to launch a browser. My default password is administrator, so I'm going to hit login. Here's my Labellium development, Labellium test page. And there you have it. There's the Labellium device information coming through the Meshlam gateway for, to a broker into our application. And just to hit the point home, even harder is I can go ahead and also view this information on my iPhone. Let me just type in the gateway, username and password, find my asset, which is Labellium. And there you go. Real-time data from Labellium devices coming into the BSCADA platform. So we're happy to help. If you have any questions in setting up your Labellium devices, 
uh, to the BSCADA platform would be more than happy to assist and to help get that going. And also, let me just say again that this is a service that BSCADA can also offer to give the customer a true end-to-end -end solution. I look forward to hearing from you all and happy connecting.